Hey everybody, Cypher Boy here. Today I am playing Townspen A Kingdom Rebuilt. Um, I would say it's the first time, but it wouldn't record the first time, so I'm trying to get trying it again. So hope it works this time. So if you want to see the game, go ahead and keep watching. New beginning. <clears throat> Welcome to our humble little village, Governor. I hope you had a pleasant bit voyage. I am the housekeeper at the castle, Mrs. Fitzgibbons. It is a pleasure to meet you, my liege. What a wonderful day to take our tour around town while your servant unpacks your luggage, Governor. Here, let me show you the most important parts of the town. I am no simple servant. I am the Lord's advisor and help him with his daily task. Whatever. This is our town's well. It is a little old and it holds just enough water for the town, but if more villagers move into town, we will have to build a new one soon. Here you can see our fishing lodge. At the moment, it is the only source for food since the mill burned down. Maybe your lordship could change that soon. Great, I hate fish. This is the castle and our home, my liege. It is also the main warehouse for the town. <coughs> well, this concludes our little tour. I am looking forward to working with you, my liege. Okay, so... Good to see that we aren't greeted with... <coughs> Pitchforks and torches, my lord. After the escapade at the king's court, we can be glad that we were only transferred here and not be thrown into the dungeon, my liege. Look, there is someone with a request. Maybe there is something to do for you, my lord. Mrs. Fitzgibbons, Woodrow the lumberjack finally had enough. He said he cannot work in the derelict building like that anymore. He left town and now his foresters had his vacant. What, we, what do we do now? Calm down, son. There are some unneeded workers at the castle. I've seen them lingering around. Maybe our new governor would like to do us the honor of instructing one of them to quit his job at the castle. Okay. There we go. My liege, we need more workers in order to run all buildings properly. Villagers will only come to town if we build more townhouses for them. Yeah, I already know that, so let's do another townhouse. Put one over here. Up to two workers can construct buildings. They transport the necessary resources from a warehouse to the construction site. Construction sites can be placed even when the necessary resources are not in the warehouse dock. Okay, let's uh, see if that helps any. That guy should come out and Here we go. Okay, maybe I need to have him. Okay. Uh, 
Well, that one's sleeping as well. No workers available. Um. Fast forward. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Splendid, my lease. Having enough workers in town is very important for our economy. Okay, let's put him back to work. Like so. Okay, so there we go. We need a functioning foresters hut in town, my liege. What is essential for construction sites and processing wood into planks? We already have that actually. My lord, it would be recommended to repair the Forester's Hut. The more a building decays, the more its productivity will decrease. It can even collapse for a, or a fire can break out when it is not being repaired from time to time. Okay, so... Actions and repair. Very good, my liege. It is wise to have an eye on the buildings around town. In most cases, you can detect a derelict building by its brownish facade. Hey. A sawmill should be built, my liege. The process is wood into planks which are used in constructions around town. Okay, so let's do that real quick. A sawmill. I guess I can build it. Okay, so um, okay, there we go, and then delete. There you go. So put it where that one was. And we need another townhouse. there fast forward very good governor the sawmill is an important Pre-request for other advanced constructions. Okay, here we go. My lord, do not overwork yourself on the first day of the job. Besides, dinner is served in the castle. You should call it a day and eat something. Okay. Here we go. As I said, that sounds like the... Or I said in a previous video, which did not record properly, but that little music there looked, sounded like The Sims music. Whenever you, The Sims go out and roam around looking for stuff like crystals and plants and stuff, that's the same or similar music to what it sounds like in The Sims 4. Congratulations, you have successfully finished this scenario by completing all tasks. So, the next one. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. <clears throat> Where 
friends from the past. Rise and shine, my lord. You cannot stay in bed all day. You have a guest. A nobleman has arrived at the castle. He said you two know each other from the king's court and demands an audience. Good morning, governor. Do you remember me? We met once at the king's court. Do the villagers here in town know that you got banned from the court? I think they would be greatly disappointed if they found out, wouldn't they be? That's what I thought. Well, your escapade at the court will be our little secret. For now, good day, governor. My lord, if the villagers ever found out what you are accused of, they will certainly have us thrown into the dungeons. I know, my lord, we didn't take the money. The charges were all false, but no one except us and the nobleman knows this. This man can blackmail us. We should tread carefully. Okay. There are some more villagers with request waiting for you in the audience chamber. My lord, I believe they want to talk to you about the food supply in town. My lord, I am the local farmer. The farm and the food at the foot of this hill is mine. Since the windmill burned down last season, my wheat doesn't get processed at all. I would be utterly grateful if my windmill could be rebuilt. My lord, we do not have enough food in our town. Our single fishermen would not be able to feed the whole town in winter. I recommend starting the production of bread. Oops. With, that's what you get when you take too long to say anything. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I already know. <coughs> And I know I'll need a fire tower. Um, fire watch tower. Oh, it's locked right now. Fire, my lord, there's a fire. You have to do something. Why don't we have a fire tower in town? See, I tried doing that, but it was locked. There we go. Okay, let's go and... Uh, instant build. There we go. I already did that. Thank you so much, Malise. You are a true savior. See, I remembered that part. I just played it not too long ago, so that's why. My lord, we need stone for the construction of some advanced buildings. You should consider assigning a worker to the mine. This way we can produce the necessary resources ourselves. I'll need a townhouse first to get a new worker though. So let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> Fast forward. My lord, we don't have any more free workers. You should consider building a new townhouse. See? Already ahead of you. For the construction, you can also unassign workers, a worker from another building, and quickly assign them to the construction site. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and... Mm. Oops, wrong one. Okay. Now there's someone working on it. Okay, very good, my liege. Now we can process the wheat into something more edible. The flour could be processed into bread at a bakery. 
The farmer is very glad that you have built that you have built a windmill and sends his regards. He left some goods for you. Okay, there we go. The windmill produces flour out of wheat. It is always useful to have several farmers supplying one windmill. If you would build a bakery, we could start processing the flour into bread, my lord. There you go, let's assign someone there. Okay, we need a bakery now, so let's do that one. Like so. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I needed to get the rewards, like so. There we go. And that one. I'm gonna need a new person. My lord, we are running out of wood. Since we need wood for the construction of buildings and many production chains, including the sawmill, it would be wise to build another forester's hut. I'll do that in a minute. After this one is built, and after the new townhouse is built. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that one to sleep so they can go and help with the construction around town. Because we need help with it. There we go. Fast forward again. There we go. I guess maybe it stopped because there was no one there to keep an eye on this place or something. I don't know. There we go. Yep. Now a forester's hut. Let's do that one real quick. Guess we'll need to clear out. All of that. Here we go. Very good, my liege. It is always advisable to have a steady supply of wood in town. So, I did that one. Now it is time to stock up on bread. We need to feed the town. The last thing we need is a starving population. Okay. And that'll be one once the baker finishes. He's currently doing the bread now. Okay, Chris.
first complete. Very good, my liege. Now our bread production chain is finished. Food won't be an issue for a while, and we have time to prepare the town for the winter. Good job, my lord. The town is prepared for the winter. The villagers will be happy to hear, th hear about this. Come with me. Mrs. Fitzgibbons has prepared a feast in your honor, my liege. There we go. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to join Cypher's Army if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.